Uh, a lot of the chemistries that you're going to see in cars are partly or completely developed by Department of Energy, and a big portion of that happens at Argonne National Lab as well. Some of the components that make up the lithium-ion battery system in vehicles like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, an all-electric car and sport utility crossover, descended from systems Hillebrand and his team at Argonne developed over decades. We did some of the base development on that, and then we processed some of that as well, and developed methods by which it could be manufactured. Hillebrand says he isn't surprised it's taken this long for electric vehicle or EV technology to take off. Fuel prices dictate how we go, consumer choice, consumer preferences. New technologies are competing with the electrics at the same time. But now that the electric vehicle age has arrived, there are new challenges, including increased demand for new batteries and competition for the resources that go in them. These batteries that we're going, that we're projected to need for all of this electric vehicle transportation is going to start to dig into that quantity of material that we have. And really, we need to take care of the resources that we have. We don't want to waste them. Jeff Spangenberger is the director of the Resale Center, another division developing innovative transportation technology at Argonne. A center that's focused on improving the economics of battery recycling. Reusing raw materials reduces the need to extract resources such as lithium, graphite, cobalt, and manganese from the natural environment. It's important that once we produce these from the ground once, we keep them in the battery circle. We don't have to dig up more. It can ultimately be cheaper to make battery raw materials from recycled content. Right now, says Spangenberger, there aren't many electric vehicles nearing the end of the usage of the battery components in them. But that's about to change. Sales are increasing dramatically. And so starting around mid-2020s, around 2030, we're going to start seeing the term million tons of end-of-life batteries becoming available. Which is why his team at Argonne's Resale Center is working to make the recycling process more efficient. There's a huge opportunity to improve the processes that recycle them to improve the economics. When it comes to invention, you know, the basic invention of the materials, we're way ahead. But the U.S. lags in electric passenger vehicle sales behind China which has more than 400 registered new energy vehicle brands. Don Hillebrand says innovation at the Resale Center and across Argonne on transportation technology initiatives benefit U.S. manufacturers in the increasingly competitive global automotive industry. This is an excellent example of how government and industry can work together and solve big problems, you know, pre-competitive problems that everybody wants to see solved and develop technologies that really make the world a whole lot better place. It's an excellent example of that working all together. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago.